everybody, thanks for watching Peace, Love, and Guns. Today we have a very special treat for you. Today we are looking at the Cook's Holsters Concealed Carry Holster. It's a uh, Kydex, and uh, it's a beautiful little piece of holster work there. I actually emailed uh, several custom Kydex holster makers and said, Hey, I have a small YouTube channel that is uh, kind of kicking off. And I'm interested in reviewing some quality products. I don't own a nice appendix carry Kydex holster for my SIG P365, which I am in love with. It's a great gun. Check out my video in the link, which will be coming up here after this video. It's also down in the doobly do. But I propositioned my channel to several Kydex manufacturers because I wanted to have content to review and then also uh, try out some holsters myself. Out of all of the companies that um, I reached out to, Cook's Holsters is one of two or three that responded and are the only ones that wound up sending me anything. So that's really cool. Um, we really appreciate that. Um, being a small uh, Second Amendment supporter, uh, small YouTube gun channel, uh, creator, um, it gives us content, allows us to give you some perspective. Uh, it's very difficult to receive free stuff and be completely free of bias, so we'll just get that out there um, right off the bat. That said, uh, I think it says something about the company to be willing to take a chance on a smaller uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you don't really see that a whole lot, uh, especially with U.S. made companies. There's a lot of um, overseas manufacturers that are more than willing to send some uh, maybe copycat products or lower grade quality products over to small YouTubers um, and then everybody kind of will more or less put out the same review or whatnot. Um, but it's really cool to get support from a US company and uh, something that is handcrafted nonetheless. So this is the Cook's Holsters uh, concealment rig. It is a one and a half inch belt loop. It's got a very sturdy clip on it. Uh, you can wear it appendix, you can wear it four or five o'clock, you can wear it small the back. Uh, it does have a little bit of adjustment for the cant here. You can see that there's a bit of a track there so you can have this tilted. Uh, Do you want to bring clip, that up in here? Yeah. So it does have a little bit of a, a track there so you can loosen up the screws just a bit and then you can tilt this and have it cant. Um, for whatever is comfortable for you or the position of holster that, that you're going to be putting that on your body. Um, if we look at this thing, you can see that the molding is really nice on it. Uh, they've, they've molded in tracks for the disassembly latch and the slide release or the slide, uh, slide lock lever on there, as well as the magazine release is molded in on both sides. It's nice because a lot of uh, cheaper end concealment holsters, you might be prone to accidentally releasing a magazine. And then you get home at the end of the day, you draw your gun to put it in the nightstand or whatever the case may be, your little bedside lockbox. And you find that your magazine is sticking out like this. And you realize if you had to, have, if you had to draw that during the day, you would have either had a mag drop free or you certainly would not have had that second round after you pulled the trigger the first time. So that would be unfortunate. Um, so it's nice that they mold in covers for uh, the magazine release. And being that this is an ambidextrous gun or ambidextrous adjacent gun, on the SIG P365 you can reverse the magazine catch. So it's not ambidextrous fully, but they have molded it in. It appears that if we switched this over, there is enough clearance in there for us to be able to have this set up as the left hand. So I think that that's thoughtful. There's plenty of sight clearance. Um, I've done some custom Kydex work myself. And when I did it, um, you know, it's cheaply done. I made a functional holster before, uh, both for a Glock and for my FNS 9mm. And what mine do is since I don't have any kind of channeling there the front side will kind of drag and will kind of scratch the inside of the holster up a little bit but you can see that there's this nice channel where that uh, is able to go there is some adjustable retention on it which is nice uh, this is the way it came stock 
I could jiggle this and get it to come out. Um, I don't want to do that, but needless to say, there is very adequate retention on it. You can see that this is made of one folded over piece of Kydex. The trigger guard is completely covered, and there's not an overabundance of stressing pushing in on the trigger guard. Uh, I've seen some holsters where, like, you can faintly see the outline of the trigger on this side of the holster, mm -hmm. and just a hair on this side. I've seen triggers that are, like, completely molded in, and I don't want anything touching my trigger on the inside of my holster, including the holster. Um, so, yeah, so I've been carrying this probably... I could, uh, I could probably annotate the exact time that I've been carrying this, but it's on the order of a few months now. It is my everyday carry. Uh, I don't go anywhere without my Sig P365, and this rides appendix carry. That's relatively new to me. I have some time with the Mission First Tactical um, appendix carry um, minimalist holster, and uh, that was an eye-opener. I really do like carrying appendix carry, but it's nice to be able to have a holster that I can draw from and uh, reholster the weapon while it's on my person. Uh, and there is a way to do that safely. Um, I am a proponent for appendix carry now. But this is a, it is a very, uh, very nice Kydex holster. Um, I do have some experience with that, with, with some Kydex paddle rigs. Uh, having built some Kydex holsters myself as well. Um, that's really nice. That said, it's not perfect. There are some things that I would change about it. Um, so being realistic about it, um, there, there are some accommodations as a holster manufacturer that you have to consider. Um, you don't want anything that can go inside of the trigger guard that sticks off of the holster. Uh, you don't want anything that can go inside the trigger guard and cause a negligent discharge while you're reholstering the weapon if you fumble that up or whatnot. Um, so you'll notice that they've got this uh, kind of uh, contour here. And it it either will not or it will be very difficult to get that to fit into the trigger mm. guard to be able to touch that, that trigger. Um, so they have designed that in such a way that you have a bit of a, a sweat guard uh, away from the slide when it's tucked into your trousers there. Um, and it's a bit of a shirt guard as well if you're wearing an undershirt. Uh, and it kind of directs the gun down into the holster when you go to reholster as well. Um, so it's nice that that's molded in. Uh, as I said, it's it's not a perfect holster. It's very functional. Uh, it's very high quality. But there's a couple things that I would change. Um, starting with the top here. Um, the holster, when you do these Kydex holster, holsters, you, you do the mold and then you have excess... And then you cut off the excess to the shape that you want, and then you finish the edges. And all of the edges on this are very nice and smooth. There's no sharp edges. The one exception to that is kind of for me where it kind of matters the most sometimes. And that is right here. It comes, it's very, it's smooth, but it does come to a little bit of a angle there. And that said... Um, when I reholster sometimes, if I'm not extraordinarily careful, I can get the slide serrations and the holster there to have an interaction with my gut and try and pull some of that skin down into the holster. Mm. I've never done anything that uh, hurts a whole lot, but if you were being careless, you could get something sucked into there. And um, it's just a consideration. So I, I would personally like to see this come down just a little bit and for it to be uh, rounded smooth like the profile here. Um, you can see that that's rectangular with a rounding to it, whereas that is a little bit sharper right there. Um, and even if I'm not reholstering, there have been times where I could feel that when I'm sitting at my desk at work. I like appendix carry because largely it is comfortable. I just kind of cant it a little bit and then I can reposition it um, so that it's not poking into my gut. Um, so that is one little thing that I would nitpick and change maybe. Um, having that come down lower and being a little bit more rounded. The other thing is when I go to reholster, um, I'll typically have a good purchase on the gun. And you can see where my finger is. It's overhanging the trigger guard right there. And overhanging the trigger guard and the mag release to some degree. And when I go and I reholster, 
if I just mm. push that in, what you'll notice is that if I start releasing this finger here, the finger gets sucked up underneath the holster and the mag release and it kind of pinches right there. And then the same thing is true of the other side. You can kind of see the marks on, on the finger there. And I'll just do that one more time. So on both sides, these little wings that cover up the magazine release can kind of suck your finger up into there. Um, so I would prefer to see that not be fully shielded. I've had guns that uh, I've actually sanded down the magazine release almost completely because I've had magazines floating around in my boot or in a bag or whatever before. So I would rather see this kind of contour come more along here and um, then we would we would end up with a holster that we can reholster and then my finger isn't touching any of the kydex there and then the only other small gripe that I have is when I grip this this is a good firing grip here my thumb is overlapping this part of the kydex and I could grip this really hard right now and draw and I'm trying to draw right now, and my thumb is pushing significantly hard on the kydex up against the gun to the point where it doesn't want to come out. And likewise, when I reinsert, I want to make sure that I'm going into the holster, especially if I'm in, uh, in uh, appendix carry mode. Um, when I reinsert, I'll probably guide it in, make sure the trigger is clear, and then push it in like that. But that said, if you reinsert, um, and you have a firing grip on the gun, it, it's no, it, it doesn't go in because it's trying to suck your thumb up underneath. So what I'd kind of like to see is this Kydex right up about halfway through that magazine release because there's not really anything in your pants right there that's going to get between the holster and the gun to push the mag release down. And then, at least not in my pants, it won't, it, it's not going to reach the <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I'd like to see that right a little bit higher. It would still shield and protect the magazine release. And then I'd like to see this whole area where my thumb is be free of kydex. So I'd kind of like to see this contour come up to about my knuckle and then round off nicely so nothing can go inside the trigger guard. So I'm actually pretty handy with, you know, uh, a heat gun and sandpaper and you know, a little jigsaw or whatever. So I'm actually going to modify this holster and it will be perfect. Those are just a few nitpicks that I would say, uh, you know, honestly, in my, my use of this that are minor, this is still the absolute best holster that I have carried. Um, it is, um, it is worlds better that, than that minimalist holster by Mission First Tactical. Um, but ultimately it is my first foray into custom Kydex holsters and appendix carry holsters um, but it's been a very positive experience and I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with it just to make it that much more perfect. Anyway so uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a couple shots with it. I do want to thank Cook's Holsters for sending this to me. Um, if you like my channel and my content please don't hesitate to support the people that support me. Uh, I try and generate honest reviews that will help you out, help you make purchasing decisions perhaps and, um, and yeah, so like I said before, it, nothing is going to be free of, of any, uh, not, it's impossible to be completely bias free, but from what I see, this is a very, um, well-built holster that, um, is made by a company here in the U S it's handmade by, uh, an individual in the U S and it's uh, quality work and they're willing to take a chance on small YouTube creators. So that's really awesome. If you guys need custom Kydex, I definitely endorse checking these guys out. Cook's Holsters, the link will be down in the doobly-doo below. And, uh, and yeah, let's, let's give it a couple shots. Someone give me a little pew pew -ness. Alright guys, and, and I say I've been using this holster for upwards of three or four months now. Um, I mean, I've been using it with everything. I wear this to work with jeans and a belt, and it works very well. I can even still kind of cant it a little bit when I'm sitting down at the desk. 
Um, but I wear it like this with basketball shorts all the time. If I go take out the trash, I'll put it on with basketball shorts. So typically, um, I'm wearing jeans and a belt at work. I've been doing a lot of work from home recently with the state of the world as it is right now. And I wear a lot of basketball shorts. And uh, when I go take out the trash even, uh, I'll slip this in the shorts. And then I've got the gun ready to go. And then... And back in. And it is possible to rip this out and have it follow me. Um, that is uh, the exception and not the rule. The basketball shirts work pretty well with just a simple drawstring. This uh, simple holster um, clip uh, has such a small clearance there that it goes over your belt or even a drawstring and it's sufficient to hold it in. You might see when I draw it now, it might actually come out substantially and then kind of flop over just a bit but um, I mean I'm wearing basketball shorts so I can't expect it to be super amazing <laughs> um, so yeah so uh, beep beep basketball shorts You have a spare mag in your basketball short pockets. I actually do that, yes. Yeah, when I wear a set of jeans, I'll actually put the spare mag in my watch pocket. Um, I'm really interested to try out Cook Holsters. Um, I can wear it on my, my weak side. Um, their concealment appendix carry or whatnot um, magazine pouch. So I'd like to try that out. Cook Holsters, feel free to send me one of those. I would love to use that. I have no doubt that it would work just fine, um, but I would love to uh, use that and possibly review that. Are you talking about like a sidecar system so or is it a separate? Coaster doesn't actually make a sidecar for like that whole kind of rig like you see. Just like the like, T-Rex uh, style. They do make a, uh, a holster uh, for the magazine that has this style clip that goes on the, the off magazine stand. holsters. What? Magazine holster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did I call it? I was just telling him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We already knocked those other ones down. That's why I couldn't hit them. They're really small now. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd laser beam accuracy them. So, wearing basketball shorts right now. Um, even with the basketball shorts, this is still securely stuck to the pants. And now it's canted in a way that it's facing towards me. With appendix carry, you always hear people say, oh, you're going to shoot your nuts off or whatever. Um, no, because <clears throat> number one and number two rules of gun safety, treat them all as, they're, as if they're all loaded. And number two is don't point it at anything you don't want to destroy. I know where my junk is right now. I have a good sense of where that is. And I know where my <laughs> kneecap and my toes are. And I know how my holster is oriented. I'm not going to stick this in and point it at my body. The gun is parallel to my body. I bring it. I'm facing it away from me. And we bring it in. We push it into the gut. I'm holding my gut so that I don't run my gut into the holster. <laughs> and the holster, when I see that the muzzle clears the plastic, then it goes in. And now I'm using the, the muzzle of the holster to push it away from my body and down. I've already, during this process, verified that my trigger guard doesn't have anything inside of it, and I've looked down into my holster to verify there's no obstruction there. You should do that with every holster, mm -hmm. every time. No obstruction going in, not pointing it at myself, and in, and then to click. So, holster draw, pew pew, everything's safe, do your tactical turnaround. Mm -hmm. And then just like with your draw, sweep your shirt up, pull your gut in, and then down in and concealed. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. Peace, love, and guns. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Relevant links will be down in the doobly-doo. We always like to thank William Britton of Gray Fox Ranch and Gray Fox Gunsmithing for letting us come out here and shoot his dirt. And then we want to thank Cook's Holsters for sending us out of the holster, taking a chance with Peace, Love, and Guns. And uh, if you're interested, their link will be down in the doobly-doo as well. Thank you, and have a good night.
Okay folks, just a little bit of a follow-up video here. Here we have the Cook's Holsters Concealment Rig that I've been using with my P365 for, well, since the end of February. It is now June the 8th, so I've been using this for four months now. And uh, this is kind of the condition that it's in right now. There's uh, little marks and whatnot from uh, me rubbing up against things, probably like my car and scratching my paint up and stuff like that. But um, yeah, holster's doing great. It retains just as good as the day I got it. Um, I did go ahead and perform the modifications to it that I said that I would at the beginning of the video. Um, this would be the inside edge of the holster, which goes up against my body. You'll recall that I mentioned that uh, I didn't like how the holster could kind of grab the flesh of my fingers if I had a firing grip and I reholstered the weapon. Uh, so I did bring that up some. I just simply cut the kydex and then smoothed over that area with a little bit of fine grit sandpaper and made it smooth. I also wanted to be able to have a full firing grip on the uh, pistol grip of the firearm and be able to have my thumb in that firing position and then be able to reholster and holster the firearm without uh, compressing the kydex up against the weapon and making it uh, have more friction to remove from the holster. So I went ahead and uh, was pretty liberal with this. This doesn't look excellent the way I've cut this, but it's very functional. This is to my liking. Everybody's hands are going to be a little bit different, but I simply cut this with a razor, a pair of shears, and a little bit of sandpaper. And now we have a holster that is in my eyes very nearly perfection. We still have the channel that was molded in by Cook's Holsters uh, for the disassembly lever and the slide lock. We still have the majority of the covering for the magazine release. So that's still uh, shielded there. You'll notice that I did make some minor modifications onto this side as well, where I brought this up just a little bit so that that wouldn't pinch my skin on that side. The kind of tang that comes up to block the gun from making contact from your body uh, or up against your body that's been removed largely this used to come up uh, like this uh, that's been largely removed because I found that that stuck out a little bit and um, would be kind of a, a funnel for me to get my gut sucked into it so I went ahead and uh, removed that I've cut this in such a way that there's no way I can get the trigger guard to allow any of these surfaces to go inside of the trigger guard. Even if I try to, I don't believe I can get any of these surfaces sufficiently into the trigger guard to discharge the weapon, even if I was trying to do that. I'm not a professional holster manufacturer, so you kind of have this, uh, this weird inset cut, but it's functional. And this is still a very, very, very nice holster. Even without these modifications, this in my eyes is perfect. I don't have anything rubbing on me or pinching me in any places when I carry this. And since I got this, uh, received it on February 18th, I have not gone a day without wearing this holster. Um, it gets put on me every day. I do several repetitions. Um, with the weapon, uh, drawing from the holster, pulling the shirt up, reholstering safely away from the body, and uh, it's uh, it's an excellent rig. Um, my modifying of it uh, maybe is uh, not indicative of that, um, and I hope that uh, Cook's Holsters understands that um, I do really appreciate them sending this to me. Uh, I took a holster that was excellent and then I made it into something that is, in my opinion, perfecto. But yeah, thank you again, Cook's Holsters. Guys, if you appreciate the people that appreciate me, uh, that will uh, 
go a long way to helping the channel continue to grow. I think it's very cool that they took a chance, send me their holster and allow me to go ahead and produce content for you guys. So if you appreciate US made manufacturers that make quality products, do please consider checking them out, seeing if they've got something for one of your guns. If you're in the market for a holster, consider making a purchase. Cooks Holsters at cooksholsters.com. Thanks guys. Have a good one. Bye.